Hello there. On this episode of the OM617 conversion series, we're going to go over how to measure for our accessory belts and go over how to install them. So the first step, if you're using the AD series alternator with the turnbuckle, is to tighten that turnbuckle all the way down and make sure each eyelet's threaded all the way in so that once we start loosening it, it loosens evenly off both studs. Next step is to thread that out until we get down, until we get enough out so we can put our bolt through our alternator. Bolt the alternator to the turnbuckle. And then we'll tighten the alternator so we're just barely off the valve cover. So we have our alternator as far down, so as far as belts go, it would be loose. And then our aftermarket uh, belt tensioner down here, we have that adjusted all the way up. So we want to take a measurement for the smallest belt that we can get and that gives us the maximum range for tightening our belts with our alternator and our belt tensioner. Key fact for the turnbuckle, the minimum length is, you know, it's compressed length is four and a half inches, but what they don't tell you is it's five and three quarters inches is the longest you want to extend from eyelet to eyelet. If you go beyond five and three quarters inches, there's not enough thread engagement and this can fail. So don't ever extend this beyond five and three quarters inches. So now that we have all of our accessories on, we have our AC compressor mounted, alternator power steering, we've got our idler pulley here, and we have our tensioner pulley here. I'm going to take just a ratchet strap and we're going to use this to measure for our belts. And so when you measure for your belt, you want to be on the outside of the pulley, not the center. So if you take a string and you put a string down in that groove, you're not going to have an accurate measurement. So first we'll measure for just the, uh, the belt that goes around the crank, water pump pulley, and the alternator. And this one goes over this idler and you want it to be tight so you'll pull the strap as tight as you can and then you'll mark that point and then you measure the length of strap you have and that's the circumferential length of the belt that you get so in our case we went and got a belt that's 53 and 5 8 and it'll say it on the box how long the belt is in a circumferential length. Now we'll repeat the process for the other accessories. The reason I like to use a ratchet strap is because it, it's wide enough that it sits on the outside of the pulleys, whereas a string, like I said, wants to go down to the center. Get that pulled tight. Measure that. So then we get a belt that's about 67 inches long. So once you get your measurements for both belts, you're not going to be able to go out and get a belt that's the exact length that you measured. Since there's more belt here, if we assume that each belt can stretch the same percentage, that same percentage is going to equate to a greater length of stretch in the longer belt because it's longer. There's more belt to stretch. So we want our longer belt to err on the side of the shorter of the, uh, the two belts. So our example we have a belt that's 53 and 5 eighths and a belt that's 67. 
So let's say our measurements were 53 inches for the small belt and 67 for the longer. We went ahead and got a 53 and 5 8 for the shorter belt. So the shorter belt is going to be the one that you grab that's a little bit longer than your measurement. The longer belt is going to be as close to your measurement as possible. So to install our belts, we'll actually start with the longer belt that goes around all of the accessories first. And it goes on the back side closest to the firewall. Next we'll take our shorter belt that goes on the front. And wrap it around this idler pulley. Now to tighten it, we'll take the alternator turnbuckle and tighten the alternator. Keeping in mind you don't want to go over five and three quarters inches. There's actually a wrench flat here in the middle. If you if you want to get it super tight. That actually feels good there. And we'll take our lock nuts on both sides and we'll tighten those down. Next we'll tighten our belt that goes around all the accessories. So first make sure your pulley nut is loose so the pulley's not digging into the bracket. And then we'll tighten our bolt on the bottom and then we'll tighten our belt. I'm going to try to maintain even tension. So once you get that set where you want it, you tighten the nut on the front of the pulley. And that concludes the installation of the belts on our own 617.